Hey, what's up guys? How you guys doing? I hope every single one of you guys is having a great Memorial Day weekend, hanging out with your family, having a nice good cookout, and actually honoring our uh, our military members out there fighting for us and doing everything they could do to keep us safe, to keep our freedom, and to keep uh, us uh, happy. Because literally that's that's... That's what it is for, for us to be happy and safe. Um, I actually already made a commentary in this same video, uh, but I didn't like how the commentary came out. Um, I didn't want to overshadow it with the story that I had about me pulling my hamstring on Sunday. But I'll go ahead and give that commentary another day, maybe tomorrow. Uh, it was actually my first time ever having a sports injury, and I've always played sports since I was six years old. So you guys will get that tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow. Um, but other than that, uh, I want every single one of you to go ahead and tell me what was your plans for Memorial Day weekend. What was it that you did? Uh, what was the best thing about it? And who you spent the time with? Um, I also want to go ahead... The main purpose of this video is for me to go ahead and thank every single soldier out there uh, fighting for uh, people's freedom to keep us safe and happy. And that includes, of course, the U.S. military, either Air Force, National Guard, uh, Army, Marines, every single one, every single branch. Thank every single person out there, to the lowest, to even the, the, the cooks, the everything, everything. Just every single person out there. Uh, just because they're actually giving away their time for the time of others. For people that have needs. Um, that's the best thing uh, of any type of job you can have. I'm not saying about going to the military. I'm saying about giving up your time. For other people that need it, there's just, just, it's just so satisfying. Even when you go out there and you, you help a person at need, you just have this feeling in your, just inside of you of joy. And it feels like if you're rich, well, that's how I feel. You feel rich and happy. And I think that's the most satisfying thing. Now, I hope every single soldier f gets to feel that because that's what they that's that's the best thing for me okay now when they do come back I wish the government did better on uh, helping them out a lot of these guys come over here with major problems and they end up losing their families losing their homes and at the end of it came and find a job okay these people are giving up their life overseas away from their family and literally risking their life every single day for us and once they come back some of them get some of them get super disrespected you know in that way and I believe you know every single member in the US needs the top uh, care that's you know that's my view on it but I'm not perfect and I know there's a whole bunch of things uh, budget is not good and I don't know there's certain things that uh, why this can't happen or so, I don't I don't know I don't know right but it's just messed up but I also want to go ahead and thank the cops and the firefighters they go to war every day we don't see it because it's just minor right a lot of us think it's minor but there is a lot of cops out there that always try to do the best and I remember I mean I, as a kid you look up to those people you know because you know they're fighting the bad guys that was that was my thought and for me firefighters I mean top heroes right there and a lot of people think that firefighters just go ahead and fight fires not at all I mean these guys they'll go almost through anything to help people out either if it's an earthquake they're digging people out of there if it's a type of search and rescue, they're there. If, uh, let's say, car accidents, that's their number one. I, I think that's their number one uh, calls. You know, that's that's who they call for. You know, they, they send firefighters right away. Um, 
and that's amazing. It's just, you know, we we can't take this for granted, guys. I mean, it, it's sad to say where I'm from in Mexico. It literally takes an ambulance, a cop, a firefighter to show up at the place. Literally, I'm not lying to you guys. Maybe an hour or an hour and a half away. It's sad. I mean, I'm not saying every single time. But you hear these stories. And it's just sad, you know. Here in the U.S., we're very, very blessed. By people who care. By people who give up their life for us. And Memorial Day weekend for me is just... It's, it's, it's me. What well, I honor them, you know. I just look up to them because... I'm not saying that I don't have the guts to do what they do, but they're just, you know, they're the true superheroes of the world. Um, I do want to go ahead and, uh, again, I don't know how much I can say it, but thank every single one of you guys. Uh, especially also for the all the fallen sol soldiers. They gave their blood for you. For I don't want to bring too much religion in here, but... I am Catholic and I respect every single uh, religion and I do believe in my deep down that we all have the same God we just have a different interpretation um, that's the ultimate prize and sacrifice and gift uh, you giving up your life your duty you giving your duty for other people there's no better thing than that um, of course, this is some minor what I'm doing with commentaries, but I hope I could bring happiness to you guys, giving a little bit something of me to the community. I know it's, I mean, it's Call of Duty, it's video games, but it's something. Maybe I could reach somebody and, and help them out. I will catch you guys next time. Hit that like, the comment, subscribe. Have a great weekend, guys. Peace.